Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy les traemos una demostración de cómo responder a la práctica que hicimos la semana pasada. Hemos incluido en esta ocasión subtítulos en español para que entiendan qué es lo que está pasando y puedan retener información. Yo te recomiendo siempre que practiques videos sin subtítulos, pero bueno, siempre es bueno tener este tipo de videos para darse una idea y después nos vamos a practicar esos videos sin subtítulos para ver qué tanto hemos aprendido. Ya saben que si estos videos les resultan útiles, un like, estar suscrito para que lleguen lo mejor preparado para su entrevista. Muy bien, vamos a ver el video. Hi, my name is Officer Villanueva and today I'll be conducting your citizenship interview. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay, you can put your hand down. Please show me your permanent resident card, your passport, and your ID. Here they are. Just show them to me. Okay. Thank you. What is your full legal name? Hugo Sanchez. Okay. Have you used any other names in the past? No. What is your full social security number? 312-12-3312. What is your best contact number? 503-305-5500. Five five zero five. What is your email? Hugo Sanchez ninety seven at email dot com. Where were you born? I was born in Cuba. What is your date of birth? February 24, 1987. What is your height and your weight? I am six feet, five inches tall, and I weigh 205 pounds. How long have you been a permanent resident? For five years. How did you become a permanent resident? Through the Cuban Adjustment Law. Since when are you a permanent resident? Since February 1st, 2017. What do you do for work? I work in the food industry. What is the name of your employer? Costco Foods. How long have you worked at your job? For four years. Where do you currently live? 132 Lincoln Street. Miami, Florida. How long have you lived at this address? For four years. Where do you live before? 599 Washington Boulevard. 
Orlando, Florida. Okay. Are either your parents U.S. citizens? No. Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Yes. What is your marital status? I am married. Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? No. What is your spouse's name? Carmen Sanchez. Can you please spell the name for me? C A R M E N. When did you get married? March 10th. 2019. Okay. How many times have you been married? Only one time. Do you have children? Yes. How many children do you have? I have two children. Are your children U.S. citizens? Yes. Are you the biological parent of your children? Yes, I am. Okay. When was the last time you traveled out of the United States? July 4, 2021. Okay. How long was this trip for? For 10 days. When did you return? July 14th, 2021. Okay. In the last five years, how many times have you traveled out of the United States? Three times. In the last five years, how many days in total have you spent outside of the United States? 30 days total. Okay. Thank you for the information. Now we're going to do the civic test. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there is one star for each state. How many U.S. centers are there? 100. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey.
What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. Okay, now we're going to do the reading and writing test. Please read the following sentence. What are the colors of the American flag? Okay, now please write the following sentence. The United States flag is red, white, and blue. The United States flag is red, white, and blue. Okay, this is how you write the United States flag is red, white, and blue. Now, please answer yes or no to the following questions. Have you ever claimed to be a United States citizen? No. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you now have, or do you ever have, a heritage title or an order of nobility from any foreign country? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined into a mental institution? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you become a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you become a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? No. Have you ever been a member of or any way associate with the Communist Party? No. Any other totalitarian party? No. A terrorist organization? No. Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? No. Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide? No. Torture? No. Killing or trying to kill someone? No. Badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No. Not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Were you ever a member of or that you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit? No. Paramilitary unit? No. Police unit? No. Self-defense unit? No. Vigilant unit? No. Rebel group? No. Guerrilla group? No. Militia? No. Insurgent organization? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prisoner jail? No. 
Prison camp. No. Detention facility. No. Labor camp. No. Any other place where people were forced to stay. No. Were you ever a part of any group? Or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that use a weapon against any person or threaten to do so? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Do you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? No. Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? No. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, was assisted in committing a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been placed in an attendance sentencing or rehabilitate program? No. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed in probation, or been paroled? No. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Been a prostitute or anyone for prostitution? No. Sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Marry someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. Help anyone to enter? or trying to enter the United States illegally? No. Gamble illegally or receive income from illegal gambling? No. Fail to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. Made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government official, any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government official to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain an immigration benefit while in the United States? No. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Are you a male who live in the United States at any time between your 18 and 26th birthday? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combated services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian directions? Yes.
Okay, congratulations, you have approved your citizenship interview. Thank you. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué te pareció el video? Espero que te haya sido muy ilustrativo, porque para esto son. Espero que los subtítulos te hayan ayudado a entender lo que no entendiste. Recuerde, ve a practicar videos sin subtítulos, sin nada, para ver qué tanto has aprendido. Suscríbete si no lo has hecho. Deja un comentario qué otro video te gustaría que hiciéramos. Y nos vemos en el próximo video. Chao.